So far, we've talked about the lessons that I've learned failing university and throughout my entire university degree. But what we're going to talk about today is the regrets that I have from university. Overall, my experience at university was really, really positive. I enjoyed the entire experience. But there are four things that I would say are my biggest regrets from university. So the first regret that I have from my time at university was that I didn't make more friends when I was actually there. Sure, I made a lot of friends throughout all of the courses, but if I'm looking back and looking at all the amount of friends that I actually made, I didn't make that many friends. Something that they don't tell you before you start university is that it's really, really hard to make friends inside of classes. And the reason why is because when you go inside of a lecture or you go into a tutorial, normally the lecturer or the tutor is normally talking and you don't really have time in order to so Socially interact with your classmates. And so as a result, once you're in class, it's kind of silent. You don't really talk too much. You kind of just sit there and listen. And so as a result, you don't really make that many friends just from going to class. Um, what we can talk about right now hey, um, do you think I, the teacher's talking right now. Do, do, you, do you mind? Yeah, yeah I'm trying to think. I'm math. Oh, okay. Points. Yeah. Look at the yeah. All good. All good. Yeah. My second regret that I have from university, which probably would have helped me make more friends, is getting more involved with university and university life. So, at the majority of universities and colleges, there are a lot of societies and clubs that you can join where you meet people of similar interests. And what you can do is you can help plan all of the events centered around your interests. For example, if you're into the chess club or you're into the weightlifting club, there are so many different societies and clubs which plan activities where you can meet people who are very similar to you or you can meet people of a similar faculty so for example science society or law society there are so many different things on campus and so many opportunities that you can get yourself involved in not only will it beef up your resume but you can also meet people who are on a similar wavelength to you and so you can make a lot of friends in this way if you just go to class and then you leave you'll never have the opportunity to meet people now I really regret not being more involved in societies like this because I personally think that with my first regret, I probably would have made more friends if I did more of these things. And to be honest, most of my university life was taken away due to COVID. Because of COVID, I lost about two years of my university life. And so most of uni was just spent online. Even all the society work wasn't really great online, but now we're living in somewhat of a post COVID world. And so university life will go back. And so you can get involved with this. And to be completely honest with you, the amount of time that I spent in societies, I met some amazing people. Some people that I will probably be in contact with for the rest of my life. Are you currently part of any clubs or any societies at the moment? Let me know down in the comments below what the society is and what your role is. My third regret from university is that I didn't study harder. Now I talked about my life during high school and how I didn't really want to study too much and I talked about me actually failing my first year of university but even aside from my first year of university I think I didn't try hard enough especially towards the end of my degree. I was literally at a point where I was like I don't want to do this anymore I just want to graduate and I think it had to do something with burnout now don't get me wrong I did okay I graduated with a decent wham but I think at the end of the day I probably done a bit better and on that point the fact of the matter is that it doesn't really affect me that much like it didn't affect me finding employment obviously there are some degrees and some fields where your wham is going to be really important like law but for the majority of people your wham is isn't going to matter too much. Once you find your first job, your grades won't really matter too much. But the fact that I'm trying for medicine this year makes it a lot more difficult for me to actually apply for medicine. Now, looking back, I was like, oh my God, I probably should have tried harder. But in retrospect, you can only hope that you did better. But hopefully this message reaches you and you guys try a little bit harder throughout university so you don't end up like me. Speaking of which, if you guys are finding this video useful, I really appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up. It really does help me out and it does help spread the video to more people so that they can see what my biggest regrets from university are. Now my fourth and final regret from university is not finding work related to my industry or any other profession earlier. Now throughout my first three years at university, I was working at a retail job. And honestly speaking, I think that that was the biggest waste of my time ever. And the reason why I say that, aside from the fact that I really enjoyed the people there and I enjoyed the work, it didn't really impact my professional career in any way. What I thought at that time was that I'm just a university student. There is no 
way that I could apply for like Commonwealth Bank or Westpac, but I couldn't be more wrong. You can apply for these places in your first year. You don't have to do retail until you graduate. I personally thought that retail was like one of the only jobs that you could do when you were inside of university because of how hectic everything was and you couldn't work at one of these corporate jobs. I think looking back, I really regret not finding and trying out different professions, different industries before I actually graduated. And the reason why that is, is because there's no risk in trying these things while you're in university. When you leave your profession, there is a lot of risk in trying a new profession. For example, I'm in teaching at the moment. And so if I took a hiatus from teaching, it probably would be very, very difficult for me to find a job in teaching once I come back. But if I was in university and I wanted to try something at Commonwealth Bank, I could, and there would be almost no consequences. Now there are these consequences associated with it. They would look at my resume and say, why is there this big gap between two years ago and now? And so it's probably a lot more difficult in order to try for these places now than it was like two to three years ago. So those were my biggest regrets from university. Obviously there are more. Let me know down in the comments below if you'd like to see more. I have more regrets, but we're only gonna leave it at four so that this video is not too long. And on that point, if you really enjoyed this video and you're interested in ways to be better every single day, consider subscribing for more videos on those topics. Thanks for tuning in today, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.